Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to your CBS in Denver Daily Sports Line. It is Thursday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Very special shout out to all of our veterans. Thank you for your service. As for what we do on this program, one and one yesterday, Central Michigan providing us with a win for the week. Appreciate you, Chippewas. Uh, the Pacers, however, did not. Shout out to the Nuggets, right? Can't blame them. That's one of those where you're like, okay, I, I guess I'm happy that I lost. I mean, not really. You're never happy that you lose a bet, but hats off to the Nuggets. I didn't think they were going to perform like that. I didn't think Will Barton was going to have 30 points. I didn't think Zeke Naji was going to have a career high. Hat tip to the Nuggets. They got it done yesterday, even without the MVP. As for what's going on tonight at Ball Arena, the Avs welcoming in the Vancouver Canucks. Avs, favorites on this one, really no surprise. Plus 120 on the puck line at minus 1.5. The over-under is at 5.5, and, and the Avs to win is minus 200. Now, no Nathan McKinnon tonight. We learned from Jared Bednar yesterday he's going to be out somewhere in the neighborhood of about three weeks. But the Avs are well-rested and pretty much healthy other than Nathan McKinnon. They haven't played since Saturday. Kale McCarr, Val Nechuskin, Devon Taves, all going to play tonight. You're going to have the top line of Landy, Comfer, and Rantanen with the top D pair of McCarr and Taves. You're going to have Darcy Kemper and Nett, and I like the Avalanche a lot tonight. I'm going to stay away from the puck line for now just because I feel like plus 120 maybe isn't good enough uh, for me to lay that type of money on the puck line, but I do love the Avs to win, and I'm going to go Avs first period puck line. That's at plus 125. I feel like the Avs are going to come out, they're going to be well-rested, and they know this is an important game, and they're going to want to make a statement from the get-go. This is a Canucks team that's lost five of its last seven, including an overtime affair on Tuesday at home. I don't necessarily love what I'm seeing from the Avs, but I don't love the Canucks either. So give me the Avs first period puck line. That's playing out at plus 125 as one of my best bets for your CBS and Denver Daily Sports line. Quickly, let's go to Thursday night football. This number's moving up. Ravens now eight-point favorites over the Miami Dolphins tonight. The over-under is at 46. I got two player props that I like in this one, and they kind of have to do with one another. First one, I'm going to go Mark Andrews over 50 and a half receiving yards. He's gone under this number in his last two games. However, prior to that, he'd gone over in five straight. He had 10 targets in their victory over Minnesota on Sunday. The Dolphins have the third worst pass defense in the NFL. I like Mark Andrews over 50 and a half receiving yards tonight. And to coincide with that, I'm going to go Lamar Jackson over 237 and a half passing yards. That's lower than it is at some other books right now. So I really like the value that we're getting here. In the last seven games, Lamar is completing 65% of his passes. He's gone over in six of the last seven. And oh, by the way, the Dolphins defense is really bad. So Mark Andrews over 50 and a half. Lamar Jackson over 237 and a half. And one more quick play as I wrap up here today. Looking ahead to Sunday, Bills Jets under 48. I just think this number is too high. This Bills offense is not going to score six points like they did in their loss to Jacksonville, but the Jets might only score six points. The Mike White experience is back for his third start. I just don't think that he is going to be able to put up any type of numbers against the Bills defense that is really good. They are number one in the league in terms of points allowed. I think they hold them to 14 points. Buffalo can score. There's no doubt about that. The Jets defense is worst in the league in terms of yards allowed at 408 and in terms of points allowed at more than 31. Bill's offense probably scores 24 to 30 here, but I just don't think the Jets do enough to keep up. I think the number's a little bit too high. I would have it around 43, 45, somewhere in that area, so I'm more than happy to take under 48 as a play for Sunday. So again, to recap, my plays for tonight, Thursday, Veterans Day, Avs, first period puck line paying out at plus money. Mark Andrews, over 50 and a half receiving yards. Lamar Jackson, over 237 and a half passing yards. And then on Sunday, I already told you I like Broncos, minus two and a half. That number's moved up a little bit. I hope you jumped on it when I told you. And then Bills, Jets, under 48. Don't forget to join us Sunday morning, Ford Countdown to kickoff on CBS4. For those of you in the Denver viewing area, our guy Jason Scott from BetMGM going to join me. We will hand out more winners for your Sunday NFL action. And of course, always follow me on Twitter. I will post our full segment once it is complete on Sunday morning at MichaelCBS4 is the Twitter handle. That is going to do it for your CBS in Denver Daily Sports Line. We are, as always, brought to you by BetMGM. Place your parlays, props, and futures at the King of Sportsbooks. Download the app today.